One of Edison's first experiments when he moved to uh, Menlo Park was improvements on Alexander Graham Bell's telephone. Now, Bell's telephone used uh, electromagnetic induction for both the transmitter and the receiver. And by this I mean he had a metallic diaphragm, again very thin, an iron core with wire wrapped around it. Now as the diaphragm moved due to sound vibrations, it would induce a uh, current or changes in current in the uh, coil. This would then be picked up by the receiver and make the diaphragm at the other end vibrate. Now this really actually didn't work very well and in my mind it's almost doubtful if Wasson really understood what Bell was saying. And uh, again, the first telephones, although remarkable because that was the first thing to do it, weren't terribly successful for this reason. Edison, however, realized that uh, if you take like carbon, compress it into like a button, and then press on it, or, uh, the resistance of the carbon had a very nonlinear response to pressure. Now this is of course years and years before electronic amplification became possible. And the engineers of the time came up with all sorts of ingenious methods to uh, overcome the need for amplification. And Edison's carbon button was one of them. And this is the invention that really made the telephone practical. Now, this is an example of a later version of the carbon button microphone. So this is a Shure 1B microphone, which I think dates from the 1920s. You can almost see Walter Winchell or something talking through this thing. But again, it incorporates a carbon button in the interior and, uh, well, works the same way. has a vibration isolation, so we won't get the uh, to try to isolate, uh, well, the sound on the microphone from any movements on the uh, desk or anything else, but basically it's the same as the telephone transmitter, and the carbon button telephone transmitter remained in use for decades, well into, what, the 60s? Probably even the 70s. As long as you had a dial telephone, you had a uh, carbon button transmitter. An amazing invention.